how do you become that woman who's hot, sexy, confident, attractive? True attraction, irresistibility can come from much more than the way we look like. And this is what drives men crazy. This is what is going to attract opportunities to you. Friendships, people want to know more about you. In this video, I am going to share with you seven ways that you can become that girl who's sexy, irresistible, who has a cue of men who are interested in her or women, whatever you're into. I'm going to share with you seven ways that you can become sexy, irresistible woman that you are. And we're going to dive into it. I'm going to find her. We're going to pull her out so that you, she can surface into a irresistible goddess that you are. So let's get into it, shall we? Point number one is the number one way you become sexy and irresistible is to become confident. Confident, hands down, is the number one way you become irresistible. <laughs> it's so important. This is the one thing I would have told myself many, many years ago when I had so much problems with insecurity and self-worth and self-esteem. Working on your confidence is paramount. Rather than concentrating on getting that designer bag and focusing on looking attractive externally, I'm not saying don't take care of yourself, but I'm saying what truly makes us attractive actually is more than the way we look like of course that matters the fact that we look great and it makes us feel great but more than that is focusing on your confidence because this is the person who you are this is how you portray yourself portray yourself to the world and people re will respond accordingly what do I mean by this? A confident woman, she understands her worth. A confident woman, she knows her strengths and her weakness. She's not trying to be perfect. She knows that she's not perfect and she rolls with it. And this is what freaking makes her sexy. Because too often, so many of us, I've been guilty of this, we ruminate on the things that are not right with us. So we say to ourselves that are not perfect, our body shape, the way we look, maybe the way we speak, all of these things, we put limits on ourselves. Being confident means you accept your imperfections. You know your strengths, whether that's ta talents that you have, gifts that you have. You're not trying to be perfect. You know your weaknesses and you understand that Every single one of us, we are different. And you've been gifted. You are unique. You've got your own talents. And you're going to roll with that. You're not going to try and pretend to be someone else. Trying to force yourself to be someone else. No. Confident women exude this acceptance, self-acceptance that people love. Once you do that, it gives other people permission to be themselves. Because so often society tells us to hide, to dim our own lights. If we're not perfect, according to society's eyes, a confident woman says BS to that. I am going to be me. This is who I am. Take it or leave it. And this is what makes her irresistible. The next point, point number two, how to be an irresistible, sexy goddess that you are, <laughs> is a woman who's sexy, irresistible, she does not seek external validation. She validates herself, baby. Yeah. What does this mean? <laughs> this means that this is not the kind of woman who's going to seek out male's validation maybe on Instagram, social media. 
trying to impress guys or people even trying to get the likes so that it can make her feel good no 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 she is not going to seek validation from different situations work from friends trying to fit in just to get the approval and acceptance from people no 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 she validates herself she knows that her self-worth is not a reflection of the external things in her life. She knows that her self-worth is from being who she is. She doesn't need to prove to anyone that she is good enough, that she's deserving of love. She deserves the things that she desires just because of who she is. You're not going to find her chasing after things to make her feel good chasing after a relationship to make her feel like she is worthy as a woman no she knows she is worthy regardless of a relationship of all these external things high status job materialistic things she knows that she doesn't need these things to make her feel good she is solid and secure in who she is she knows going down that route of chasing seeking validation is going down a rabbit hole. You're constantly gonna see. Once you achieve one goal, guess what? That lasts for a little time and then you'll be on to the next one. That's what we do and I'm not saying don't have goals. Of course it's good to have goals, something to work towards, something to progress towards. No, she understands that these goals are not gonna define her. Her self-worth comes from who she is as she is. The next point, how to become a hot, sexy, irresistible woman. Point number three is this type of woman is her authentic self. She is a freaking badass. And being your authentic self, guess what? This is a superpower. Because too many of us in this world, we're too scared to be our true self. I know that because that used to be me. I didn't want to shine. I didn't want to show my true colors just in case I was not accepted. Just in case people will not like me. But guess what makes someone sexy and irresistible? When she is being her true authentic self unapologetically herself this is what makes her magnetic this is what makes people drawn to her because she understands that this is her only one life she understands that if she fakes if she pretends to be someone else just to get a guy's attention just to be in a relationship that's a recipe for disaster she may end up regretting this later in life being your authentic self, this is the secret superpower, my loves. This means that people who like you for who you are will come towards you. Those people who don't like you, they can go away and you will be okay with that. This is what makes you irresistible because people can sense that you have this element of detachment to you and detachment is attractive when you are authentic yourself you're most likely going to be someone who can let go of situations you can let go if something is not working out if a guy is not for you you're not going to convince him you're not going to try and impress him you're not going to beg him to be with you you let go because you understand that you are happy with yourself and whoever's meant to be in your life will like you for who you are. Point number four, how to become that woman who's naturally irresistible, attractive, who attracts things to her life she doesn't have to chase, is to become independent. When you are not dependent on other people, when you're not desperate for other people's attention, their time, their energy to be in a relationship for a guy to like you. This is freaking attractive. This is what makes you irresistible. And people can sense that. We can sense when someone's needy. Please love me. Please love me. Please spend time with me. I really need to have a boyfriend. 
We can sense that from a mile away. And it's not attractive. When someone's being needy, we don't want to be around this. We don't want to be around people who are needy, who are desperate. It's very unattractive. When you become self-reliant, you become freaking powerful. It means you're no longer going to depend on other people for your happiness. You figured out how to make yourself feel happy. You like your own company. You figured out how to be self-reliant. Maybe you've also worked out how to make your own money so that you don't have to choose a partner out of desperation, out of financial need, but you choose a partner because you want love. Too often I know women who are stuck in situation just because they have no other financial option open to them. When you know that you can be self-reliant, it gives you options in life. You're not going to be desperate. You're not going to settle for a toxic guy who doesn't treat you right. You can let him go at a drop of a hat. And that's what we want. We want options. We don't want to be stuck in situations. And this is what it means when you can become independent. It doesn't mean you don't like being around people. Of course you do. You love being around people. We love people. It's part of our human makeup. We're social creatures. But it means when you are facing solitude, when no one else is around, you've got yourself and you embrace solitude because this gives you energy. This is where you can find yourself. This is when you can reflect. And this makes you incredibly irresistible. It means you can get to choose your own path in life, create your own roles. And how many people can do that? Let's be real, not many. Too often we are dependent on other people. That means we end up following their paths and what they want to do. When you've figured out how to be self-reliant, got your own back, you get to be the boss of your life. You get to be the creator. You get to choose what dates you want to go on, what food you want to eat. You get to choose and make and design your own life. And that's freaking irresistible. The next point, how to become a sexy, badass, irresistible woman. Point number five is to love life. What do I mean by this? I mean, fall in love with your life. This is what makes people freaking attractive. Think about it. Would you hang around with someone who's miserable, who's constantly complaining, who's always got something wrong going on in their life and they don't have this, the victim mentality? And I'm not saying people don't have issues. Of course they do. But when you become someone who is in love with life what does this actually mean it means when you have a positive attitude that life has so much to offer life is beautiful you've got that curiosity to discover to go do things to work on yourself when you do things that make you feel alive you become magnetic and irresistible to the people around you people want a piece of you when you are involved, when you dwell into your passions, your hobbies, whatever they may be, creative outlets, maybe it's traveling, maybe it's getting into fashion, wearing creative outfits, expressing yourself. This, put, this puts you on a high vibration that becomes irresistible. We all want to be around people who make us feel good, who make us feel alive. So when you fall in love with your own life, creating a life that you like, you naturally become someone who's irresistible. The next point, point number six, how to become someone who's irresistible, how to become that woman who's hot, sexy, irresistible, magnet, who doesn't need to go after chasing after men and all of these other things. No, 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 no. <laughs> Point number six is to have an adventurous spirit. Be a bit more free-spirited. This one is 
up to individuals. Some people may like this trait, some people not, but I think this is freaking sexy. When you can be someone who is flexible, you can adapt to different situations. When you're fun, when you're not so rigid in routines and things have to be like this, things have to be like that. I think what makes someone sexy, irresistible to people is when you can adapt to different situations. When you can be spontaneous and go on that weekend trip with not much notice, this makes you sexy. It gives you that edge over other people. It makes you stand out. Again, because people are so fixated sometimes in their daily routine, day in, day out, doing the same old, same old. When you can be that person who's doing something different, it makes you stand out. It makes you irresistible because, again, this is what makes us feel alive. When you are open to new possibilities, you understand that magic happens when we step out of our comfort zone. And you are someone who has the courage, who is brave enough to take the risks, to go after what you want. And people find that irresistible. People want to be around this kind of person who has the courage to do what you want, who has that life inside of your soul that wants to live. Isn't that what life is about? Living. The next point, point number seven, how to be that irresistible, hot, sexy woman, because you are. Point number seven is to remember, remember to take care of yourself. Practicing self-love. People who take care of themselves, they shine. You can tell when someone loves themselves, not in an egotistic way. No, not someone who's like going around, walking around like, I'm better than everyone, I'm prettier, I'm more handsome than everyone. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about someone who respects their body, someone who knows when it's time to take a step back from the world and to pour into their own cup. When you practice self-love, when you honor the, your body, what it needs. When, because you know it's only when you pour into your own cup, that's when you can be a service to others. It's only when you have given yourself the love and care and nourishment that you need, that's when you can help other people in your life. What does this mean? This means taking care of your body, eating the right food, exercising, because you know what? When you look good, naturally, we come across positive. Naturally, we are more desirable to other people. When we look good, we feel good. And this is what we will radiate to the people around us. And that's what will make us more attractive and desirable. So it may sound a little bit shallow, but to a certain degree, yes, taking care of ourselves, our hygiene, the way we look, taking care of our hair, Respecting our body, respecting it for all it does for us. Walking, the hard work, the amount of stuff we put our body through, the stress. Giving our body the nourishment that it needs so that we can continue to go out there and be of service to other people, for the people around us, for the people that we care about. When you love yourself, you open up the opportunity for people to love you. This is when you become magnetic. We love people who accept themselves, who love themselves, who take care of themselves. We feel like we want to do the same for them. And it's the same way. So these are my seven tips. I hope they have helped you a little bit. Let me know. Add anything if you want to in the comments below. I hope you're all doing really well. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. Bye.